YouTube. I we bet with another video, man. We bet with another reaction video up on this channel, man. And as you see by the title, we's watching the good old UDY, the good old reliable, trustworthy UDY. You can't tell me. If UDY drop a video, best believe we is finna watch it. No matter what the circumstances, we just finna sit down and we finna watch it. Just cause they're very entertaining what they do. Uh, but you see by the title of their video, uh, is a girl, is his girl, I don't know, y'all can't even see. Is his girl for cheating on him while at work. So they testing shot while she at work. That's a little crazy to me, but hey, look. We finna get to it though. We're not gonna waste time on the intro. We finna get to it. Hey, my boy. Testing your shot while she at work a little crazy. That'd be crazy, but if it. I really like this chick, but like she kinda does some stuff to me and I don't know when you got that little bit, it's just like wasn't really try so then Yeah. Yeah, I ain't gonna cap. He already started off the video in the in a, such a bad situation. If she got all your trust away, thrown away, why you doing these tests already? Leave, bro. Just leave. If she already did it already. Overthink too much, and I've been thinking way too much. It's like, ah, damn. Today we're helping Eric test his girlfriend's loyalty. Damn, buddy. Are you prepared for the possibility that she might fail this test? I'm prepared for it just because of what's happened and stuff. So like, here it goes. Our decoy Jarrett will be testing Emily's loyalty by hitting on her and asking her on a date. Will she remain loyal, or will she entertain Jarrett's advances? She tells me she wants to be with me and stuff, but like some of the stuff she does, like, doesn't like really like bad. Mm, her actions don't match it to what she's saying. This is her. She mm. basically looks like the same right now. She's just wearing some uh, blue jeans right now and then a sweater, a black sweater. So that is her right there. Our plan was to divide this loyalty test into three phases. Phase one would begin at Emily's job across the I street. We're here with Eric. He's left his car behind. Me. And we're going to start our reconnaissance. Thanks to Eric, we knew that Emily was working. But to make sure that she wasn't on the break or anything, we sent in Leslie to do some reconnaissance. Our plan was very simple. Jared would walk into her job, pretend to be a customer, and then get her number. He would then begin communicating with her and eventually invite her over to his big house with his nice cars. V8 by Turbo, baby. I think it should be reversed. I feel like you should ask for her Instagram first because I know she won't give her Instagram because I go through her Instagram. So she's going to say no to that. All right, buddy, this whole situation already messed up. God damn. And then I feel like if you say her number, then she'll be like, okay, because then she can kind of hide it in a way. But... And so what does she usually do when she's working? Does she, like, walk around or does she, like, just uh, stop stuff? Or... No, just, she's usually just in her section. Like, today, she just works whatever shipment she got and then stocks it up. Just stocks it up yeah. and that's it? And, and wherever she works, is there, like, is she usually secluded or is there, like, is she, like, right in the middle of everybody? I mean, I guess if it gets full, then, yeah, it's kind of, like, a little, like, okay. but it doesn't really get too full because it's not that big of a store, not too okay. many, yeah. Now, the reason Eric wanted to pull this test specifically at Emily's job was because he's caught her doing some questionable things with her co-workers. Man, let me get this straight. You caught her doing some questionable things with her co-worker, and yet you talking about some loyalty tests, like... To be honest, bro, it sounds like she already failed once. So why are you doing this test, bro? If she already failed one time, what point of reason do you feel the need you need to go back and do it again? She already failed. She already could. She could, bro. She could. So, so you caught her, like, talking to other guys? My friend that actually is working right now, he saw, for one guy, he saw that she, he kissed her on the cheek, I think, and, like, she was cool with it and stuff. While she was working? Yeah. Some random dude? No, or no, like no, a co-worker. Oh, a co-worker. Mm. And then the other... My, that, her, that, that's her work husband. That's who it is, bro. That's, that's her work husband. That's the work wife. That's how it goes. Guy, his girlfriend, uh, his girlfriend <laughs> called me and then showed me messages of them talking back and forth, like, kind of flirting and stuff. And then apparently at work, they also, like, kissed and stuff. And, like, like yeah. Man, wrap the test up already, bro. You have an opportunity to leave already, bro. You just like, what are you doing? You got the opportunity. You been had the opportunity to leave. Why are you doing this? You had it's right in your bread basket. It's put it presented right in front of you. The girlfriend, his girlfriend, done texted you messages of them talking. What are you doing? Like, right, oh she, damn, she already failed. So, 
One she of been your failed. Girlfriend's Come on, man. Girlfriend hit you up telling yeah. you, yo, this is what's happening. Yeah, because she's the one that saw the messages between them. I didn't know because obviously, like, she hides them and stuff. Like, oh, I, just, wow. I never, I never, like, I guess, I never really checked through her phone until then. And when you caught her, like, doing this, what happened? Like, did you confront her about it? Did we would, you... like, talk about it and stuff. And, like, I don't know. Like, she, the way she would talk about it, it seemed like she kind of didn't care. No, or when I came into the store to, like, kind of confront the guy, too, is like, she was just like, I guess she didn't like really care if like I would stay with her or. And other than that time, have you caught her anything with anything else and stuff or? Mm, I mean, I've like before, like once when the relationship was barely news, like she would message uh, on Instagram and stuff, but like never like link up with nobody. It was just pure messages and stuff. But I mean, it's kind of hurt too because. Uh, She's I, I already like, lost. She already lost. She already like, failed, bro. There's nothing to see. Boyfriend kind of like cheat on her and stuff. So like. I mean, it's all she I trying to get get back. Too, so. Oh. How long have you guys been or not to be a little bit more than a year. So like you really like this girl, you really want to be with this girl. I, mean, I honestly do. It's just that I just want her to tell me stuff, like be open about her emotions and stuff, and like about just everything. I want nothing hidden between us. That's the thing. And then I just don't know what's going on in the store as well too, because like I don't know, I don't work there no more. Or she doesn't tell me stuff. So. Oh, so you guys used to work there together? Yeah, for a good while. But then Bruh, I ended up leaving. It's already there. It's yeah, like okay. everything was same emotion for you. Like, what okay. is that? The reason I asked Eric and really liked him with this girl is because. Oh. There are way too many red flags in this relationship. I mean, in this girl, she is kissing people, talking to people, deleting messages. It's too much. Personally, I would have ended things a long time I'm ago. Telling you. The fact that this man has put up with this for a year, though, is crazy. I see that as an outsider like looking she... in, though. Like, if I really were to put myself in his... Man, she already, already failed a loyalty test that won't even set up. She already failed. Like, she already failed. There's nothing more that you need to see. Choose and in his situation, who knows if I'd also be blind. I don't know what more you need to see though. Be, who knows? I don't get what more does he need to like see happen. Her trauma, but that shouldn't justify her behavior. If she wants to do everything that she's doing, fine, just stay single. But I mean, hey, who are we to judge? We're just here to help Eric find some peace of mind. How do you do you think she's gonna pass or you think she's gonna fail the test? I mean, I think things have been going a little good for a bit right now, so hopefully she does. Okay. I, th I think she might pass, but if she does, yeah, it's like it's not like she hasn't hurt me already, so. <laughs> I used to. Oh, yeah. Uh, no, like, a lot. Can we take a quick picture? Oh, yeah, let's do it. Okay. Well, thank you for used to watching. Oh, my God. Thank you, dude. You used to watch. Did she have something going on with her coworker and stuff? Or, like, was it just, like, a, that kiss on the cheek and, like, That's just texting thing. her? I feel like if she never would have got caught or whatever, if they would have told me, I don't know what could have led up to Right. Man, he like, caught, bro. If he caught with kissing her on the cheek, what more you think that would have been doing? Let's think about it. Let's think. Let's, let's, let's yeah, put two and two together. Like, you just don't know what might have happened, I guess. Yeah. We've talked about stuff like probably like many times, and it's kind of like the same thing over and over again. It's just, I feel like kind of now she kind of gets it more, but it's still just kind of like the same stuff over and okay. over. Okay. I just wanted to get it. And yeah. I can't force but... it on but if she doesn't want to do it, she could just tell me. Like, yeah, know how it goes. goes. You can lead have a horse to the water. You can't make him drink it. Have you given her the opportunity to like have that so conversation? Yeah, I've given her an opportunity to tell her like, do you want to be with me or not? She says she wants to, so okay. that's why you keep going through. Like, I know it's not something easy to say to someone when you don't want to be with them, but right, I feel like she could do that with me. Yeah, Eric's right. It isn't easy to tell someone that, but it's necessary. It ain't cool to lead someone on and then tell them you really want to be with them when you don't know. Honestly, it's no either yeah, you want to be with yeah. them or no, you don't. Leaving this uncertainty in the middle does more harm than good. Did you see her, Leslie? I think I did. Yeah. She works in that section yeah. to the left, too. So dairy section to the left. She'll probably come out right now. She's the only girl there. But yeah, I mean, probably was her. Dairy section. Bye, there she is. Oh, my God, talking to her. Man, so y'all see them in the action talking already off the rip. What the f? Uh, Ooh, dude, wait, who's that guy? I think that's <laughs> <laughs> was already a guy talking to me. Oh, oh my God. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure that was a customer, though, so. Hey, man, I don't know. He's kind of cute, though. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good camera call. Which iPhone is this? <laughs> I love your priorities, man. <laughs>
With Jarrett now knowing where Emily was and what she looked like, he was now free to enter the store and get her number. Phase number one was officially in full swing. All right, he did so. How confident are you that she's going to pass the test? I mean, as long as she just says she has a boyfriend and then okay. um, tells me about the situation, that's about it. Okay. Because, like, I mean, if someone comes up to her and just asks her questions and stuff, kind of like the guy was doing, like, I don't expect her to tell me that like, that's pointless. In the way. I just want, like, when someone's doing a little extra stuff, that's why I'm like, oh, okay, for sure. Okay. I told him first to like kind of like shop around, make it seem all legit, and then he's gonna make his move. <laughs> Don't forget your takis. The last was to discreetly follow Jared around, see. getting a solid angle, but not following too close as to get caught. After pretending to shop around for a bit, Jared eventually makes his way to the dairy section of the store. <laughs> nice to know that you guys still there. <laughs> the guy who was talking to Emily was no longer there, but neither was Emily. There was absolutely no sign of her. It was crickets. The worst case scenario was happening. We had done our reconnaissance, yet somehow things still played out this way. My best guess was she was either in the bathroom taking a leak, in the back grabbing something, or worse, on a break. Thankfully, after waiting yeah. for some time, though, she eventually returned. All right, she's back. Here we go. This is it, dude. Excuse me. Hey, can I get your advice on something, please? Get your advice on some. All right. You better so, put it together correctly. Like this big ass meal. What's the best thing over here? What would you get? Like cheeks or anything? Anything. Like. What's your favorite? What do you... I mean, that's one way to go about it. You could have just went straight to it. I excuse me. Like, I don't know. I, I, that's one way to get to what it. What would you go for? You cook? Okay, so if you was cooking, what would you have? Damn, it kind of sounds like she's like not giving him any conversation. Huh? Say what up. Have a good thing. I mean, that's how she usually is. Oh, okay, got it. I know you ain't going through the mail. She won't like that one buddy with kissing her on the cheek, huh? When all, all Cosmo was talking to her. Come on, now. Like, let, let's think about it. She ain't usually like that when buddy was over there kissing her on the cheek. Even when the Cosmo was talking to her. Come on, man. Don't lie. I don't sit here and lie. Get ready to make fried rice. No, I said, like, I'm trying to go like all out. Like pasta? Pasta, bread, chicken. Hell yeah, I'm black. It might just be me, but I don't really feel like Emily's giving Jarrett too much conversation. This could have been due to stress, annoyance, or concentration in her job. Or, like Eric said, maybe she's just like that. A very quiet person. This it? Okay. I'm trying to go all out. Would you pair this with like some uh, wine or what? Yeah. Okay. Barley bread. Help me out. You're my tour guide now. Excuse me. I have a question. Damn. Man, cool. this test was really about to start and things were going to get good. Emily gets pulled away by another customer. <laughs> she said, just give me a second. I think someone else asked me. Give me real quick. I'll be back. Uh, I'll be back. Okay. Honestly, I felt like Jarrett was about to start cooking. Like, I could see where he you was about to get to it, though. She was with it, too. Like, she was down to help him in everything. You like, about he to get was about to it. bag that number. You can help them real quick. I'll be back. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, you're fine. You're fine. I'm going to take a lap. Hey, this thing ain't over yet, though. Remember, for phase one, all Jarrett had to do was just get her number. Chicken Alfredo. I want this. Jarrett had to wait for a good while. This lady needed help. It's funny. She used the same tactic that he used to talk to Emily. Ah, oh, damn. <laughs> she just might be a little bit too busy in there, dude. Uh, oh, but I mean, the way she's kind of responding is just basic and boring. Which is what I tell her is, like, just answer is simple like mm -hmm. oh, that's good that's, by, that's good by me like it doesn't have to be like all extra and stuff uh -huh. hell yeah okay uh, they bet so essentially what i'm trying to do right now is i'm trying to put together this whole meal what about alcohol what you think like liquor liquor Lick. Lick. you got hennessy I mean, yeah. Pasta amigo? And that's it, yeah. Casamigos. But I see people, you know, posting Casamigos. Does, does Casamigos go good with some garlic bread? I've drank with them before. She literally took a light one cup. That's about it. Damn, we should have we forgot. She smokes. Which one no. Drink no? She didn't smoke? Uh, hey, uh, you, you're supposed to be helping me out. Let's go. What's your name? I'm sorry. Jared, nice to meet you. 
Jarrett had finally introduced himself to Emily, and I gotta say, everything up to this point sounded very professional. She also seems like a straight edge. I mean, she doesn't drink, she doesn't smoke. She might have a very good chance at passing this test. She don't drink, she don't smoke, she just let other buddy, she just let other dudes kiss her on the seat. She do it all. <laughs> but hey, then again, just because you don't drink or smoke, she do all the bad. She don't do all that, but she do all that. Perfect. You say you don't drink? I don't drink, I just drink. Just a little, but not too. Like, I just don't have fun yet. <sighs> Latinas always say that. And then next thing you know, you three drinks in. I know how to do it. And boo. Oh, but do she? Oh, you do you? Do you? Yo, she's so cute. She. What you say? So what? How about this? Which one would you drink with me? Which one would you drink with me? Bella. Huh? Bella. That's <laughs> the one you gonna grab with me? Yeah. That's the one you gonna grab with me? Yeah. The black. Which one? Okay. That's it. All right. So I got garlic bread. Got some. Microwavable rice. So when we, we when we gonna eat this together? Yeah, I think that's good. Huh? That'd be good. This'll be good. Okay. Okay. I don't know. Hey, she brushing her. Hey, she brushing buddy off. Come on, now. She dodged that good. She well, brushing him off. Come on, now. Listen, I just want to say thank you. I just want to also say you cute as. We got me another. It's not how you do it, bro. That's not how you do it. It's trash. That was bad. That was bad. No, 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 no. Say you cute as shit. Let me get y'all. Oh, bro. No, 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 no. <laughs> bro, you went about that all the wrong way. That's the problem. You went about that so badly. You, you cute as number. shit. Let me get your number. Yeah. I got a girlfriend. I'm teasing. I'm messing with you. Is it serious? Yeah. Yeah. She says she got a boyfriend. She's doing good so far. All right, that's great. She's doing fantastic. Well, let me grab your Instagram at least. You sure? Let me take you out. I right, ask one more time. We'll grab it. No? All right, well, I want to say thank you at least, all right? Thanks. Damn, and so just like that, Emily turns down our decoy. She doesn't give out her number. She doesn't give out her IG, which means that she doesn't let us go into a phase two. She got interest. Thanks. I'm gonna put this stuff back. <laughs> I mean, that's good enough for me. It's just that I feel like, I don't know. I feel like if we would have done this in the beginning of our relationship, that probably would have been different. Different. Damn, bro, you want an excuse to leave us on? She passed, bro. She passed, Nick. Hey, ain't that what you want, Nick? I mean, she already, she already did some unloyal shit, but damn, what you mean? It ain't, it ain't the beginning of y'all relationship. That's, that's the thing we getting at. It ain't the. And he was just saying, oh, we was talking it out. We was, we was doing good for a little bit. And bro, if you want to leave, to go ahead, lead a shot. Lead a girl. Come on now. I think she passed. All these dudes, uh, they, uh, they keep looking at me, bro. <laughs> yeah. And she was, she kept looking at them. I'm like, oh. she kept looking at what? Did she catch on? I don't know. I don't know. He he said like something like she kept looking at. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Emily did pass, but it sounded like both Jared and Eric still showed some reservations. Like, wait, wait, wait. What's going through your mind? What are you thinking? I mean, I don't know. Only, I guess the only doubts I would have in my mind is like maybe he wasn't attractive enough for her. <sighs> but I don't, I don't know. he wasn't really her. Nigga, what the fuck? Do you want her typing? What is he talking about at this point? Maybe. Okay. Mm -hmm. it's, so it sounds like you still almost like still don't really trust it because there might be someone who she will mm -hmm. find more attractive. Yeah. But so I, it still sounds like you're like kind of like hesitant and not super yeah. trusting of her just yeah. yet. I just feel like it just has to be built more because like she's honestly like stuff she does, she kind of like broke it already. But uh -huh. with stuff like this, with her telling me like stuff like, oh, some guy came up to me and called me beautiful and stuff. Like, when they're telling me stuff like that, and it kind of builds it back up. You know? yeah. Like I said, there's always going to be kind of a doubt. But it's yeah. just less kind of now. Eric's reservations honestly make sense to me. Like, this guy wanted to keep it going to a phase two. I don't think he wanted her to fail. I think he just wanted to keep it going to see how she acts with guys that she does consider, quote unquote, friends or homies. Which, again, makes sense considering what she's done to him in the past. I'll be nice and put this stuff back. 
Now let's talk about Jarrett's reservations because this is where things take a twist. Before we get into it though, let's give this girl some Reservations. credit. Like she did pass this test, didn't give out her number. Up. Gotta give credit where credit is due. With that out of the way though, Jarrett would tell us later that he felt like some male employees were giving him looks. Maybe this was just him being paranoid, but maybe it was true. Maybe just maybe Man, when Emily was distracted or pulled away. Oh, she got multiple work husbands talking about, hey, who the, who the, <laughs> who the guy looking at you, huh? You supposed to be my Saudi at this job. What you doing? Why, why is another dude talking to you like that? Hey, she ain't playing. That's funny. By the other customer, these guys tipped her off. Maybe these guys noticed Elias suspiciously always trailing Jarrett and they alerted Emily as a courtesy. Maybe they were just trying to look out for her, like, hey, these guys are recording a video, be careful. Or maybe they alerted her out of jealousy. I mean, remember guys, the times that Eric caught Emily essentially cheating was with her coworkers. For one guy, he kissed her on the cheek, I think, and like she was cool with it. While she was working? Yeah. Some random dude? No, or no, like no, a coworker. Oh, a coworker. Mm -hmm. The other guy, his girlfriend called me and then showed me a message just of them talking back and forth, like, kind of flirting and stuff. And then apparently at work, they also like kissed and stuff. I'm like, oh damn. It's just a conspiracy theory, right? But looking back at the footage, after Emily helped those customers, she made direct eye contact with the camera multiple times. Something she, oh, she hadn't owned. done when initially just talking to Jared. So it was almost as if she knew it was there now. Either she spotted it or somebody told her. And the fact that Jared said that these guys were all staring at him and giving him looks and she was looking at them, just makes me suspicious. Man, bro, y'all gotta be more sneaky with y'all camera, bro. Y'all y'all were too close to too close to him when he was following. You gotta be like, you gotta see them a little bit. Like, why you so close, bro? You can't, you don't need to be all up on him when you record. Yeah, that's why y'all messed up, man. Eh? Y'all messed up, y'all messed up. Come on, bro. Bro, these guys are <laughs> they're not discreet at all. <laughs> <laughs> they both just like leave the store at the same time. Shortly after I'm saying, bro, why are you interesting text? Why, hold on. I mean, that's all I could ask for, man, honestly, for right, for right now. She just texted you, literally. Yeah. Oh, so a guy complimented me just letting you know. That's all I could ask for, I guess. He's like... She caught on for sure. Ain't no way. I don't want to know if she's caught on, but yeah. She know. Like, uh, I can't. I was like, oh, she was speaking. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Man. She almost folded. Her, her texting you like that, though, is that normal? <laughs> this is what we talked about literally like Thursday, Friday. Like, I uh, stuff like this, and I guess this is the first time she did it. Funny. Okay. Yeah, so. But she I mean, was, she did not like, almost fold, bro. She won't close. Like, Come on, so, like, You, you set that up so bad. It took bad. so long just to like. You ain't get it to her, having now. Yeah. Throughout the whole relationship, I've never like, even though she's done that stuff, I've never like stopped liking her in a way. Like, mm. I think I'm really in deep for her and stuff. <sighs> Like, I guess it's stuff that hurts, but it's just more like uh -huh. affected like my trust. Right, right, right. Right, right, right. right, right. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I hate to sound like this, but honestly, Emily sending Eric that text makes me even more suspicious. Again, I hate to sound like a conspiracy theorist, but I can't help but think that she's trying to save face or look good. She caught on or she was tipped off. All of you guys are out, it was kind of funny though. Man, and then she walked away, I'm like, Shit. I gotta like take a lap, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But honestly, at the end of the day, though, this is all our fault. Like, we should have approached this test differently. We should have ensured Eric a deeper test with a one-on-one, -on -one, alone conversation with our decoy. No distractions, no customers, no coworkers. This one was for sure on us. We were just too ambitious with it. Do you think your trust will ever fully come back for her? I mean, as long as she keeps doing, like, good like this, I don't see why there's stuff that I got to doubt for. Okay. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Show her the video. I'm sure you. every guy who hits on her, she's gonna think I it's a test. I don't even. <laughs> <laughs> every guy who walks up to her now and compliments her, she's gonna be, be like, like where's, where's, where's Eric? Eric? <laughs> <laughs> she's gonna be like, where's the camera? <laughs> it, when I came over, another couple came and they were like, um, they were asking her for stuff, so it like interrupted while I was trying to talk yeah. to her. Yeah. And I had to like get back in character, but I mean, it was, it was cool, man. What is it that you said towards the end? I think she was looking at the... Oh, oh, the guy workers. Like, they like they were like, they kept glancing at me. And so I'm like... It's because you're flashy, so... I don't know, but they kept, look, they kept looking at me, she would look at them, so I... It's kind of awkward a little bit. What guy worker was it? The, uh, it was like two guys, one had a hat backwards, I think it was. Then a light-skinned dude. Oh, he's he getting flashbacks. He know who they is. He know he getting flashbacks. He know who they are. <laughs> he thinking deeply. But uh, <laughs> but no. Look, bro. Look, look. Yeah, man, you're lucky. That's good. Yeah. yeah.
No, but I was telling him though, like, I just feel like if this energy would have been towards the beginning of the relationship, it would have been way better. But, I mean, it's cool. Like, it feels I, good to know, like. Yeah. But y'all not in the beginning. You know about this? Yeah, she did already. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She texted him. Oh damn. <laughs> okay. So God complimented, just letting you know. Yikes! Yeah. <laughs> oh, she didn't see the Benz though, so you know, yeah. it was a full set. Like, look. Come on, man. Mike <laughs> 2 with the Benz. Hey, you know? <laughs> Regardless of our reservations and how overly ambitious this test was, I am still glad that Emily passed. Yeah, our test is already over, but Emily did the best thing she could possibly do, which is not give out her number or her Instagram. And I wish I could wish these two uh, she had the best, caught on, but unfortunately, they broke up. Yep. They didn't break up because of this test. They broke up because Emily cheated. Uh, yep. They I mean, what did you expect, bro? She was already like, what the f Hold on, bro. Hold on, hold on, what, 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 what's up, Sergio? Hello, what's up, hey, how you doing, bro? Just taking how you and your girl. I right, what's up, Sergio? Really dope to see here from you, man. Been loving the videos that bangers and well, me and her, well, me and her finished, bro. As much as I loved her and wanted the best They didn't you. break up because of this test. They broke up because Emily cheated. What did you expect, bro? She already is disloyal. Like, what did you expect? It just wasn't her type. She went about it wrong, bro. Like, um, come on, man. As much as I loved her and wanted the best with her, you just can't really change someone's mind way. Some other stuff happened, so I just let it be. Just been working, been here in the gym, playing soccer. Yeah, I Again. Like, man, I don't really yeah. care. Go figure. I have two, two guy friends that work there, and they always kind of, like, kept an eye out for stuff. They would tell me, like, oh, she's doing this, or she's doing that. So I guess when we're doing the video, right, my friend said he saw one of the coworkers with her, like, doing some stuff. I, I ended up getting mad, too, and then I ended up going to the store. I was honestly going to kick his ass, but then I thought about it. I was like, bro, because that was the, 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 the first thing he said when I got something. He was like, get out of here, I'm going to call the cops. And I'm like, bro, I'm not sure if she kept doing stuff with that guy but then there was this other two that worked there too that i thought we were cool but he ended up like i guess talking shit on my back and stuff like saying like oh why are you with that guy you deserve better and stuff you dirty mac and fuck nigga you lame ass nigga oh you lame as hell for that oh you dirty mac and lame ass nigga oh i can't stand niggas like you well who does that type of weird shit too Oh, why you with him? Shout you should be with me. He ain't even a good, he ain't even good for you. He don't even treat you crazy. Oh, you a lame ass nigga. Oh, you're a loser. I don't care what you call it. You worse than him. He ain't even a good, he ain't even bad, but you worse than him. Like, you ain't better if you question another man. Like, yo, do better. Do better. I was like, brother, this was, like, this was a bum. On me? Like, oh, don't worry about him. Oh, don't worry about him. Yeah. They say don't worry about him, he's nothing, and then they end up doing some stuff. Like, but then to top it off after, like, I think there was another dude. Like, hey, she got three! Kind of manager. But... Okay, I am not gonna throw too much business out there. I think you guys get the point. Like, I said, the very bro, the whole whole store was in on her. It won't just him. Damn, buddy. De decoy, you's bad. Damn, tough. Damn, but the whole store is over there on that one. On oh, whatever her name is. Tough. The beginning. If this <laughs> wants to be doing all of this and talking to other guys it's or whatever, up. that's fine. Just stay single. She's obviously oh, crazy, me? So obviously, other guys try getting at her, but it's oh, they not trying, nigga. They succeeding too. It's like it's on her to like obviously not entertain them and stuff. <sighs> so, and she's so better. She was so trash, tragic, tragic. Man, she would she she ain't want the decoy, but once it came to the co-worker, she just like, ooh, let me get that. Like, she failed. She been failed to begin with before that test even started, and she failed before, and she failed after. That's how it be. But anyway, bro, let's go ahead and do it for this video, man. Back with another reaction with UDY. Always another good video, man. Appreciate all the videos they drop. But I right, look, we gonna get up out of here, man. I'm gonna catch y'all in the next video. I'm out. Forty thousand miles up in the hour, the time I get some seats. Four cook press put on the neck and I can't let them breathe. Blood, sweat, and tears come with this shaking, ain't nowhere near easy.